Two big Republican senators today joining calls for a second special counsel. Must be music to the ears of our next guest. Chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Republican Congressman from California, Devin Nunes. His committee will vote next week on the final version of its report on Russian interference into the 2016 campaign. Congressman, Mr. Chairman, welcome. We appreciate it. Why are you ending your Russia probe? Well, we're ending the beginning of our probe, right? So the Four Corners Agreement, which was made early on, about 14 months ago, looking at collusion. And the reason why is it's just not, there's no more left to look at. Adam we, Schiff we says that's not true. We interviewed 70-some people. Yeah. And, and there's badgering of the witnesses that are occurring. Our members have, have had enough of it. Uh, continual leaks of the Democratic witnesses, the people who they want. In the middle of the testimony, mm -hmm. there's leaks. Uh, and they've from got, Democrat and they, Adam Schiff, right? Well, we don't know who they come from, but they sure don't come from us. So there's no reason to continue this because we have no evidence of collusion. We've turned up nothing. So Schiff says that's not true. He says there is significant evidence of collusion. He talks about George Papadopoulos. He talks about the secret meeting at Trump Tower. Is he wrong? Yeah, there's, that's not collusion. What is it? So, well, if you take the, first of all, Papadopoulos, uh, if you believe any of this, we don't even know what the truth is, because this was supposedly somebody drunk at a bar that passed the intelligence over. We're still trying to get to the bottom of what that what really happened there, because uh, last time I checked, it's OK for Americans to get drunk in a bar in London. If that's against and, the law, a lot of people are in trouble. And he was mouthing off to an Australian diplomat who supposedly passed this over to the State Department. That's that's all we know right now. Now, so that's not that there's, that's not colluding with Russians. Uh, if you take the the Trump Tower meeting. Is it smart to take a Trump Tower meeting with Russians or any meeting with Russians? Mm -hmm. Probably not. Uh, probably not a good so idea. So maybe bad judgment, but it's not collusion. Well, there's no evidence of collusion. In fact, we, we've interviewed most of the people that were in that meeting at Trump Tower, and all of them have said the same thing, that it was basically a very short meeting, no more than 20 minutes long, and they talked about Russian adoptions, and people came in and out of the room and left, and they didn't have anything. What you, now, what we never got to the bottom of, which is still, I think, very important about that meeting yeah. at Trump Tower, Fusion GPS, who was working for the Democrat campaign and the Hillary campaign, met with those Russians right before that Trump Tower meeting. There was a court case that they right, were working on together. And right after. Yeah. You think maybe they were colluding? Well, I think anybody with any, any common sense whatsoever mm. has, to, has to figure that Fusion GPS knew about that meeting. Another big story is FISA abuse by Obama administration officials spying on former Trump advisor Carter Page. And you are the person who put that on, on the map under great duress, charges that you were doing the bidding of the president, all kinds of attacks. You put it on the map, and now today we see big Republican senators like Lindsey Graham and Chuck Grassley running with it and saying that you helped show that crimes were committed. Watch. The Steele dossier was paid for by the Democratic Party through Fusion GPS. Mr. Steele had associates in Russia that could have easily compromised him. And uh, we believe the FISA warrant process was abused. And the reason we want a special counsel is I think crimes may have been committed. Crimes committed. Yeah, it's a similar, it's similar uh, statement to the letter that I sent to uh, the Attorney General a few weeks ago. Uh, I, I will just tell you this, that uh, Senator Grassley and his team have done a great job. Uh, I'm glad to see the other three senators coming out helping uh, Senator Grassley. Uh, he, he deserves to be commended yet, for this. Most of the media has said, Mr. Chairman, that your Republican memo was a dud and it proved nothing. And here you have two big Republican senators putting their reputations on the line and saying, no, actually, you helped show that crimes were committed. Well, and also, the media has been ignoring this story for a long time and they continue to. So there was, so when we put our memo out, you have to remember that Senator Grassley and Senator Graham had already sent a letter that was very, very similar to, uh, to, to our memo. That finally, because our memo was declassified, it allowed their letter to be declassified. It's a letter to the Justice Department. It's a criminal referral, criminal on, referral Christopher Steele. on Christopher Steele. That's correct. So now you have four senators now calling for a, a second special counsel. And so what, what you really have occurring here is that the left, uh, is trying to attack me to make me the poster child of this entire investigation. The fact of the matter is, with the Russia investigation on collusion, mm -hmm. I let Mr. Conaway, Mr. Gowdy, and Mr. Rooney run that investigation. I didn't tell them who to interview. I didn't tell them how many times to interview. I didn't tell them what to ask at the interviews. So, but, you, well, let, let me just yeah. finish on that. 
So how is it that I'm even involved in this? I let them run the investigation. They came to me, look, we're done. We're finished. We're not doing any more interviews. You had many of the members say, we're not even going to sit through any of these anymore because they're so becoming so ridiculous. And you've had many members. And, of course, the press has taken that as like there's some split on the committee. There's no split. The, the members the, of our committee, the Republicans, have had enough of the, of the antics that are being played by the Democrats and their friends in the mainstream media. And speaking of the media, the attacks continue. An op-ed in the New York Times uh, this week saying, quote, all signs instead point to this week's developments as the beginning of a new chapter in the story in which House Republicans go on the offensive to support President Trump and fight the special counsel, Robert Mueller. The headline, beware of Devin Nunes's next move. Are you going after Robert Mueller? Well, that headline is one that you could, have, you could read weekly in the New York Times. So there's nothing new about that. Uh, the people that it surprised me, the people that wrote that are actually heavily funded by su Democratic super PACs. So why, you know, they should have to disclose that. Right. These are extreme but left wing on the groups. substance, are you going after Robert? Well, Warren? we have nothing right now. Our investigation that we have ongoing right now is on FISA abuse, right? Unmasking other matters or, and we're, that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, no, we're not calling in Robert Mueller or any of his people. So that's right fake now. news. Well, it's fake news. Yes. And last question. Today, some big news started out. New York Times reporting that there's been a subpoena from Robert Mueller, the special counsel, to the Trump organization for documents related to Russia. Trump lawyers say this is really much ado about nothing. They've been turning over documents. They've been cooperative. But my bottom line question is, if Robert Mueller is issuing a subpoena or subpoenas to get records at the Trump organization and delving in to the president's business activities, does that cross the line? Well, the special counsel, this is part of the problem with the special counsel, he has basically an unlimited check, checking account. So he can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. We have no control over it. So I have no idea why he's doing that, uh, but I can tell you this. So far, what we've seen, there are, there's no evidence of collusion. We have not seen Robert Mueller or his team look at major felony leaks that we, that we know about. And those felony leaks still are out there. Nobody's investigating them from what we can tell. And the media is not doing anything about it. But what's every day, more and more comes out. So you saw what Senator Grassley said today. You have text messages that continue to come out. You have the IG yeah, report yeah, that's is. coming out. Uh, every day we have more and more people that are coming to our committee, informants who are coming to our, from our committee, good Americans, bringing us information. You have informants still coming in? Absolutely. Okay. We'll yeah. be reading Because, they, because they know that our committee is going to follow all the facts where they lead. We'll have and you back. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, appreciate it. Always a pleasure.